In the ancient scriptures of the Hebrews, there is a mysterious group of beings called the Nephilim. They are said to be the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men, and they were the heroes of old, men of renown. They were also giants, towering over the ordinary humans. And they inhabited the land of Canaan, where they were feared and despised by the Israelites. But who were these Nephilim, and what was their fate? Some scholars believe that the Nephilim were the fallen ones, either because they were the children of fallen angels, or because they lost their divine status and became mortal. Others think that the sons of God were human rulers or nobles who took the women they desired and produced powerful offspring. Some ancient texts, such as the Book of Enoch, tell stories of how the Nephilim corrupted the earth and humanity, and how they were destroyed by the Great Flood. But some of them survived, and continued to live after the Flood, as the ancestors of other races of giants, such as the Anakim, the Rephaim, and Goliath. There is some evidence that suggests that there were indeed giant people in ancient times, both before and after the Flood. Fossils, skeletons, megalithic structures, and ancient writings attest to their existence. But there is no conclusive proof that these giants were the Nephilim or their descendants. And some of the evidence may be exaggerated or fabricated. There are also some modern claims of Nephilim sightings, but they are mostly based on speculation, conspiracy, or hoax. The Nephilim remain one of the most intriguing and controversial mysteries of the Bible and of human history. They challenge our understanding of the origins and nature of humanity and of the divine. They are the giants of legend, the heroes of old, the Nephilim.